Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. We are we're in the Underdark and I'm doing surprisingly well. I'm uh, I'm very very pleased with how that last bout of of encounters went. I was really expecting it to go poorly, but um, you know we're kind of brawn over brain right now, and so we can we can go toe to toe with bullets and and minotaurs. Um, so yeah. Uh, we, we killed two minotaurs and a bullet. Good lord. A burlap sack. Oh, I didn't mean to take that rotting basket. Anything else? Rotting basket. We got some rotten mushrooms. Sometimes I have to, like, just kind of sit in awe of, like, the, the scale of not just this game, but, like, most games in general. And, um, I have to just kind of, like, you know stop and admire the fact that there is more than one sprite for rotting mushrooms in this game <laughs> that is a thing someone had to design not one but two or maybe even more different sprites for for rotting mushrooms wild you know i think about all a lot of the things that i've spent time on that go unappreciated and uh I, I, you know, I'd like to appreciate that for a moment. Someone, someone put work into that. All right, so we are Let's have a look. making our way to this. I don't know what this is, but it looks like a stronghold. Maybe is the stronghold that Halston was talking. Oh God! Be cautious. Uh -oh. Tav is not doing a great job of spotting those things. So we're gonna go into stealth mode. Uh oh. Well, we got some rings. We're getting we're getting some nice treasure for uh, hanging out wonder around here. I wonder, wonder if the gods are watching me. Hope they didn't see what I did at the camp last night. Rustic chest, huh? All right, let's go ahead and lock pick that. Doopy doopy doop doop doop. 29. Uh, ingots, huh? Okay. I'm cool with that. I don't know if there's crafting in this game. Like, I don't know if you can, like, we make weapons and stuff. I know there's alchemy, and alchemy is cool and all. Um,. I often appreciate when uh, a game does like high level crafting stuff. Can we do anything with this glowing gem? It doesn't look like it. Because it, you know, I just, I really like making stuff in games. It sometimes drives people crazy. Because, like, even when it comes to TTRPGs, um, I'm like, yo, I want to, I want to sit down and learn how to make a sword. And they're like, um, now? I mean, if not now, when? I don't know, downtime, I guess? Let me, let me, uh, let me learn how to make a sword during my downtime. It's just always something that, it's been something that, that appeals to me. Now, don't get... Zentarim, mercenaries and cutthroats. Useful friends, if you can afford them. Oh, Zentarim. Oh, we're, we're cool with Zentarim. Uh, don't get it twisted. I don't actually, like, generally speaking, I'm not a huge fan of crafting mechanics in games uh i know you might think well uh is that not exactly the same thing you'd think so wouldn't you but no that's not really what i i mean um i like the idea of our of our character of my characters learning a trade and having a bit of flavor and being able to make something um i'm not a huge fan of like ingredient management in games for the most part i find it to be kind of tedious uh, I, I find a lot of games do it in the most boring way they possibly can like you You need to go and like find 15 of X ingredient before you can make the thing and I'm like, oh god I have to go and like, you know Collect a bunch of crap that I don't want and most of it's not useful Right um, I like you know I, I like the way Baldur's Gate does it for crafting because I can pretty much ignore it for the most part <clears throat> 
um let me see while we're on the topic can i make any new coatings oh we definitely want to make some drow poison i think uh yeah let's make two of those now i do wonder are, are we able to make some new stuff i think that i've pretty much just used up our ingredients elixir of colossus potions we could probably make some potions of greater healing i should make one of those what are we missing we need we need more rogues morsel how come we're not making rogues morsel I thought I, I've been picking up quite a lot of Rogue's Morsel stuff. Give me a second. Uh, so what is this? Salts, essences, ashes, vitriols, suspensions, supplements. How do we get morsels? Rogue's Morsels. Dried Guild of the Rogue's Morsel Mushroom. This powder smells surprisingly sweet. Did I use all of it up? I thought I had a bunch of those. Yeah, there it is. We need... Okay, that's why. It's because they cost three each. Good lord. I mean, there is a bit of it. You know, I, I won't lie. There's a bit of the crafting syndrome in this game of like you know picking up a bunch of stuff i'm uh i'm kind of a huge fan of like if it's if it's a commonplace thing and i need a lot of it just say that like over the course of like x number of hours my character passively picks up enough you know so like you time gate it instead of ingredient gate it and that way um i don't have to do the busy work of like yeah i'm gonna go and do some supplies running and and get x number of ingredients and i'm looking out for these things like just say that my character is doing that because you know it's their trade not mine right i don't know you know i'm not learning how to craft my character's learning how to craft right um and then eventually i think the more important way, aspect this place is trapped to me is you know if something requires a uncommon ingredient that's uh that's an opportunity for an interesting quest you know like i want to make a something interesting um and it requires something rare so let's like let's make something out of that let's make that interesting it's already kind of interesting scroll of speak with the dead scroll of false life those that seems like not good to be honest Hey, this is an elevator. So what is this? This is a quest right now. Get Yankee patrol, reach the mountain pass, search for signs of... Okay, so I think this is an extra path. This probably leads to the Githy... Uh, sorry, not the Githy Yankee, the... Um, the camp site that I've already been at. I've been playing a lot of Mountain Blade, and I, I really like the way that it does uh, crafting and blacksmithing and stuff like that. I find it uh, pretty compelling because, like, you know, yeah, they're ingredients, but you can mostly get them from, like, smelting down other stuff and, uh, you know, just kind of playing the game. Like, the other aspects of the game kind of fill in the gaps of your ingredient uh, necess necessities. You can also do trading, and I think that that is a, you know, decent enough way to get the ingredients you need. So I'm just going to check to see um, where this goes. What? Can't use this right now. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Well, that's a bummer. Is there... Is there a, a lever somewhere? I, okay, it doesn't work, huh? Something is shimmering, and I don't know what. Is it me? It's me, isn't it? Oh, did I not look in this rustic chest? I did not look in that rustic chest. 
I should give some of my throwables to a different character. So like probably like my melee characters because they don't you don't need to make a good attack roll or a good ranged attack roll in order for uh, throwables to be useful because they're mostly for, you know, deploying um, like advantageous environmentals, you know, like acid on the ground, fire, uh, even water can be useful because then you can electrocute it. Um, in fact, that's a really good point that I'm considering just now is that Lazel now has sparking boots. So if like we threw water down um in a in such a way that she was standing in it and so was the enemy and then uh but not like um Harlack, good lord really doing a bad job of spotting those did i not come this way i did come that way i just i guess i missed that mind both times we're gonna have to do a short rest but we've already used up one of our precious resources okay so let's continue going west i suppose do we have a map i guess i have been looking at a map this whole time i'm not sure why i asked that with school Open up. school uh scroll of color spray i mean that's okay probably gonna sell some of those scrolls at some point Um, okay, we've got mushroom people. Mushroom people, mushroom people. Sure hope they're not mad at me for blowing up all those mushrooms. Securing. Well, they seem to be peaceful. So if I can talk to them, then they're okay. You were swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, she has come. She is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. Okay. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Uh, insight, seek understanding, focus on the sovereign song. Yeah, let's use knowledge. I never get to use astral knowledge, so let's do that. It's not a high difficulty class, so I'm not sure why I'm using everything, but I detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. Sucks. That sucks. Um,. I sense your fear. I've come to aid Fungal you. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The sovereign expects you. Okay. Ebon Lake Grotto. Don't touch anything. Dwager Spore Servant. Uh, I've got a long road ahead. Wonder if Tav has anything to say about this. Mm, it doesn't look like they will talk. Do not grab the mushrooms. Got it. We've got a waypoint. We've got a cellar. Hmm. Blurg. Ripple bark could sustain an entire village if seeded properly. What is Blurg? Blurg looks like a tiefling from this angle. Mm, maybe they're a hot goblin. Back. Run, little mushrooms. Ah, wait. You're not with that damned raiding party. Apologies. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps 
it's not. Mm, your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Seems like you've had a run-in with my people before. You scoundrels attacked these peaceful villagers completely unprovoked. Filthy, dim-witted. Pardon. Sometimes my temper gets the better of me. That I is observe fine. the fight from a distance. Combat is not my field of expertise, but the Mykonids handled themselves well enough. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. Interesting. Our kind has suffered needlessly for generations. Do you also seek peace among the Mykonids? Yeah, why not? Um... I collect mushrooms to sell on the surface. No, I don't want to deceive. Mind Flayer infected me with a tadpole. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? Explain the whole story. You were infected by an illithid tadpole? It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Okay. Ormelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis? That's impossible. What? But intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? I guess so. Geich, your head will make a fine trophy for my queen. Yo, calm Please down. Please hold. I understand your rage against my kin. My species has terrorized the Underdark for countless generations. But I assure you, I stand with the Society of Brilliance, not the colonies of my people. I know what it's like to be shunned, I understand, Omelum. Fool! They infest your head and invade your dreams, and still you would parley. I ask only that you refrain from violence. I respect that your opinion of my kind may be... charged. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. Uh, potentially dangerous. Yeah, let's do it. As the Meloon's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive, awake, almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. Can you extract the tadpole? No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. That doesn't sound ideal. It is not ideal. <laughs> the process would surely kill you. I like, I like this guy a lot, actually. It but is not, not ideal. Tomorrow, should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. Um, tell a Melum about the strange mind flare ship you were on. A Nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Uh, thanks for the information. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. 
But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Bypass? What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion mm. in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. I don't know if it is. Eating those doesn't sound like a great idea. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Your sanity, however much you possess, should remain intact. <laughs> I, I appreciate this guy a lot, actually. So where do I find these mushrooms? The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare. And their discovery, perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Why would a cleric have a bunch of dangerous mushrooms? She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. Sousa Bark, huh? All right, I'll come back when I find the mushrooms. May your travels be safe and swift. I have to say that I've I've been like mid to positive about a lot of the characters. These are the first two that I've genuinely loved. Like I I love the idea of <laughs> like a little a little gang of mushroom people, a mind flayer and a hobgoblin just doing their thing and trying to trying to make peace with the underdark. It's it's fantastic. I love this place with with like wholeheartedly. I'm going to do some trading with Welcome Blurg. Back. Have you made any new discoveries? <laughs> Look how menacing he is. Um, I've never heard. Uh, let's uh, let's do some trading. What do you got? Scroll of Web, the life bringer. When the wearer gains lightning charges, they also gain three temporary hit points. Oh, that's really good. That's really good for uh, Shadowheart, but um, the temporary hit points disappear if the wearer runs out of lightning charges. She's she is oh what is this baneful? Favored weapon. This weapon has a plus one bonus to damage and attack rolls. On a hit, possibly bane your target. It is a short sword. It would be pretty good on Shadowheart or on me. A short sword can be dual wielded. Um. It's got finesse. It's actually pretty good. I kind of like that a lot. Um, I would love that. What do we got here? Cinder shoes. Whenever you burn an enemy, you gain two turns of heat. Boots of genial striding. Uh, Moira's movement speed is un unimpeded by difficult terrain. Quite good. Circlet of blasting. Scorching ray. Sylvan stone. Revivify. He's got lots of money. Be a good time to do some trading. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a pause here and I will... Uh, I'll figure out what what, what we're going to do. Uh, give me a mo. Okay, I've gone ahead and done a little bit of bartering. Um, just to get rid of some stuff, get some gold. He had a, quite a lot of gold. So I'm cool with all of that, and um, yeah, we're on we're on good terms now. You won't receive any gold, sure. Have my, have my rib cage. Uh, I've never heard of the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. 
Uh, research in the Underdark sounds like a dangerous prospect. Yes, but it has abundant natural resources. Spores, water orbs, Trillimac. I've studied them for years. Failed Arcana, okay. What uh, have you, your studies uncovered? This is not a wasteland. It is a glorious ecosystem. Every civilization here could thrive without conflict. Okay. So we're on good terms. How is your more personal research progressing? Not well. The nutrition my species receives from other mines is difficult to emulate. Oh, I see. So they require uh, feeding on intelligence in order to uh, persist. Get away from that. It's glowing. Anything? 20 experience, huh? Barrel stock glow. It seems like we can take some of the stuff, but not if, uh, not others. Are you, are, are we cool? Fungus and mold glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts into your mind as you gaze upon the misshapen servant. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. Ah, they are like a hive mind, I wonder. I don't know. Uh, I, I love the idea of like a mushroom people. It's a lot of fun. So we have uh, another lad over here. Oh, also a cellar. Deep Roth. Rothe? Interesting. If I could speak to animal, I'm sure I'd have a lot of fun. Second playthrough. A Dwergar? Play nice, or these shrooms will be on you in a flash. But while you're here, you've seen a dwarf around. The non-gray type. Balin's his name. Um... Don't know. No. Can you describe him? Bald, blue tunic, dumb as a stick. No. I haven't seen him. Right. Never mind. Who is he to you? My useless husband. Hmm. Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. Need some help finding him? Knock yourself out. But don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try to ransom him to me, you'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old lout. Show me your wares. What do you got? Amul Amulet of Restoration, Healing Word, and Mass Healing Word. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Ring of Jumping. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to do another pause. We got some good stuff here. Okay, I'm trading for some interesting stuff here. Um, we're probably going to have to do another trade after this. Because um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of management here. But I'm going to barter. I'm going to put myself on good terms with them. Um, I am going to opt into hand crossbows. Which I think would be fun. We've got a hand crossbow plus one. So we've got two hand crossbows. I don't know if this means we can make like multiple attacks per turn. Um, I think that would be, it'd be cool if we could. It looks like it's still an action, but it looks like we're doing eight to 23 damage and maybe we get to attack with both. It looks like we do. So we're gonna be doing eight to 23 damage, which seems like a lot, but that's a sneak attack. I don't know. Okay, yeah, offhand attack, five to 10 damage. Um. So I, I think that there's something there. I don't know why we're, we've got a studded shield there. I don't know how we unequipped our dagger. Um, let's just let's slap that back on there. Um, and uh, am I still cool with this once you dash? Yeah, I feel like momentum isn't as cool as, um, as having wrath. That seems like better, just in general. We also have a amulet of restoration. Uh, Misty Step, I think, is actually really good. I am still gonna have a look at maybe, um, using this Herald. 
Uh, your weapon attacks also deal two damage. Seems really good. We'll slap that on. Uh, Amulet of Restoration, that's going to go to Shadow Heart so she gets extra healing. It might be that she, it's better to put that on someone else, but we're going to have a look. Um, are we wearing a necklace yet? Marina's locket. I'm going to have to figure that one out. Um, when the wearer gains lightning charges, they also gain three temporary hit points. I'm going to have to sit on that one for a bit. Protection from good and evil is an interesting one. Um, we can give that to someone. I kind of want to give it to myself. I don't know where what slot it goes in, though. Like, where does this go? Oh, it goes in this slot. We're not giving up Misty Step. Misty Step is just too good. Uh, what's the one? Okay, Milf's first staff. Kind of want to give that to Shadowheart. Because it offers some pretty interesting oh no are we in that weird bug Very glad didn't mean to do that settle things without letting any okay hold on i think i'm in that weird bug where when i select shadow heart yeah so i'm probably gonna have to do a, a save and load i'll be right back okay it, it's a known problem um i'm sure that they're working on it but uh you know it's it, there's an easy fix for it for now so what do we have here? Saloon's Dream. You know what? I think Amulet of Restoration is just better in every way than uh, Saloon's Dream. So let's go ahead and equip that. Now, the reason I'm um, interested in equipping a staff... What does she got right now? Electric Veins. When the wielder deals damage with a spell or cantrip... Oh, that is really good. That is actually really good. Can we put this... Oh, can we... Can we do a wield? Ah, oh, no no i was i was if she had, could like hold both st both stabs that would be so nice um but it doesn't look like that's the case okay well um i guess i kind of wasted some money on this but that's okay i'd much rather she gain charges with this and i guess if i'm gonna be gaining charges when the wearer gains lightning charges they also gain three temporary health points I think that's that is technically better than gaining health whenever she heals another because she, basically whenever she does damage with a cantrip she's also going to be gaining temporary health points and she's just going to always be gaining temporary health points it just seems like really good um definitely the amulet restoration is going to be better so let's have a look at this evil eye ever seeing eye for someone else what have we got here animal friendship i don't believe i've ever made use of that so let's go ahead and swap that out um might put that on uh no someone else we did get a bunch of ingredients so i'm gonna go ahead and uh uh go, you know convert all of that and i can make a couple of potions of animal speaking i figured that this would be a good compromise and we i don't have to like you know reserve speaking to animals on my second or third playthrough um we can occasionally you know make those you know do that now let's um i also kind of want to make some potions of feather falling that seems like it would be really useful and definitely i want to make some more potions of greater healing but yeah i bought a bunch of uh ingredients i think i have to hope it's cheaper than buying potions themselves but I, you know sometimes uh the game the game is not as uh as good about these things as, as you'd like them to be so what i'm going to do is split these up and hand them out so we'll give one to uh lazel and one to carlac they're going to be the front line did i do that I right sweat. yeah okay cool and uh should probably hand some of these potions of healing out as well and i'm just gonna go ahead and split them up three ways give that to shadowheart give that to lazel give that to carlac but we're gonna be moving on from like minor healing to actual healing and alchemist fire i'm gonna go ahead and and start handing out like some of these um deployables 
to Lazel and Karlak. And, 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 you know, there's the occasion where they can't really um, make it yet. Like, they can't, they don't have enough movement speed to get to their opponent. Um, and in those situations, I'm usually left to making long ranged attacks, but they don't have very good long range attack bonuses. So, in those instances, it would be much better if they could do, um, you know, something a bit more interesting and that's where these deployables are actually quite nice and in that sense it actually would make more sense if they had like these strange arrows the, i tend to not use them on uh tav despite my um intentions because he he's just always gonna be doing more damage with sneak attacks and sneak attacks are just always better so i'm gonna play around with this a little bit coat your weapon in oil it's weapon targets Receive a negative three penalty to spell attack rolls and spell save DC and disadvantage on saving throws for maintaining concentration. This is a great anti spellcaster potion. I love that. Um, should also sell this staff of the crones. Let's go ahead and uh, add to. Is that on wares? How come I can't add that to wares? Uncommon. It will not let me add that to wares. That's interesting. Huh. Well, we'll figure that out. Anyway, uh, we've we've generally speaking upgraded all of our uh, stuff. Who's this hook horror spore servant? Wow. Creepy. Seems like a good moment to talk. Seek me. Seek the sovereign. Okay. I'm assuming they're all kind of connected to like a, a general hive mind and we have to go and find them. Uh, there's a kind of nasty bibber bang. Can't reach it. Why can't I reach it? Come on, it's right there. Just take it. Whatever. I'm gonna take that lacolite instead. Yeah, I saw that coming. Fine. Well, I have uh, gone through the entire camp, it seems. And not. Okay, uh, what about this? Mushroom picker. Find Balin. I don't think we went in this area. I might have. I don't know. At least it's kind of confusing. TBH. Well, this, these guys seem kind of like, like a big deal. Sovereign Spa. Duergar corpses. The sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker. I show you a memory. Watch and listen. Okay. A violent vision grips you. Dwega, like yourself, chopping myconid remains. Your kind broke our peace. They killed our young. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The sovereign song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Let us spill blood. Dwergar or Myconid, I care not which. Charming. Uh, why did this clan attack? Deep purples swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear, chased by Dwegar. The Dwegar seek a gnome. It is a guest. You harbor a fugitive gnome? Admirable of you. The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. Um... 
You planted animating spores in the corpse, yes? Yes. Our enemy's flesh makes a fine host for my growing children. These spores hold such power. How might I gain this knowledge? You may not. The spores hear only the circle. They dance to no other harmony. Okay. Um, I'll cleanse the rot. Those Dwager near the lake will die. The Sovereign shows one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. Okay. You do the circle a service. We will await word. Um, I will, uh, just preemptively gonna defend myself in case anyone calls me out for attacking fellow Dwager. I, uh, challenge you to find any uh, historical evidence to suggest that humans would attack their own, so, you know, just, uh, just throwing that out there. Fleshwalker. Tongue talker. You look like the rot. Yet your presence soothes me. Far you've come. Reach into memory. Tell me of home. My home is wherever I travel. Fill your heart with memories of your most treasured places. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Mm. Shucks. Where God destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. This circle does not welcome me. But I have heard the song. You mean to cleanse the Dwergar rot. I mean to join you. Excellent. Are you sure? It's going to be dangerous. I am the <laughs> danger, and I am the cure. They erased my people. I will erase theirs. I am the mushroom who knocks. Um, very well, you may join me. I'm not even going to second question this. Remain. And I will follow. We cleanse the rot together. Getting some real cud vibes from this. I have a freaking mushroom lad. Look at him go. I love him. I'm going to protect him with my life. I love him so much. Okay, where are we going? Uh, I need to go north. North, north, north. Uh, okay. There's uh, something hidden here. I would like to talk to this guy. Something over there. Lock picking impossible. Let's um let's try our first potion of speak to animal. Where would that be? I vaguely know what it looks like. Doopy doopy doop. Uh, cannot find it anywhere. Where is it? Accuracy, diminution. Ah, potion of animal speaking. Want master back. He treats me good now. Doesn't kick me anymore. Is that it? I'm waiting for master. Miss his scratches. Can't leave without him. Mm. I thought this was where we were going. Um, I'm gonna go. So wait a minute. Where is this? K 
kill defeat the Dwager uh intruders. Okay, so we're gonna go southwest. Which is this way. Can we go through here? I think so. Okay, we got a new quest. And we have a mushroom friend. I love him. I can't I cannot understate. Yo, people won't honestly shut the heck up about the owl bear. I know about the owl bear. The owl bear is cute and all, but no one I have heard no one talking about mushroom lad. And he is so good. This place is is like seriously so so good. Keen eyesight, the hole below you soon plummets into an abyss of impossible darkness. Hello. Your call echoes as it plunges downward, before gradually fading away. Fool of a cook. cook. Gouges. Something's marking its territory. Best be careful. Don't know if our mushroom lad is good at sneaking. Dread hollow, huh? Um, let's. Susser Bloom? A bogus. Um, let's uh, do away with these bitter bangs. Outlander mushroom enthusiast. What? Destroy each kind of hazardous underdark mushroom. Wow. You may have noticed that I do fire twice now. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for this to dissipate. Might take a, a minute. Might have to do a pause. I guess I could do a, a noxious, we could do an explosion just to get rid of it preemptively. And now we'll have to wait for the fire to become doused but you know what this is this is the way oh what is that hook horror are they a baddie are they the baddies never a dull moment breathe deep and move we have um some secrets down here i'll check these out later i'm on a mission right now Always check out these susser blooms Sensation. These flowers are absorbing all the magic in the air. Interesting. All right, let's. Uh, I think we have time for for a combat. Let's uh, hide. Being an open view. I have a funny feeling that that lad is uh, a baddie. These boots have seen everything. Let's uh, make make moves. Ah, did we like instantly fail our checks? Uh, no one else is in the combat, so let's just like get everyone else in there. So, um, it seems to me that we picking up that flower was actually not good because we can't cast spells right now. <laughs> Um, let me see. What can we do here? Hamstring shot. Nope. Okay, uh, it might be a good time for something like an acid vi uh, vial. Let's just do like a throw. Acid vial. Path is interrupted. Okay, can we go like there without getting in combat? 
throw. Acid vial. Perfect. Okay, I think everything's in combat now. I think we're at advantage. We have a 95% chance here. We should be able to do... No, we still have to have advantage. Doesn't that suck? Still, if I move a little bit away, I might be able to do a sneak. Don't want to draw any attention. There we go. Path is interrupted. So I'm going to have to move into view. And now we're not hiding anymore. I don't understand hiding mechanics in this game at all. Like, are we even rolling stealth checks? It, it seems like we didn't even roll anything. So it, it's a little frustrating sometimes, but whatever. Look of the far realms, do it. Very nice. We are hitting some good, pretty good damage and they, uh, we're, they're taking more damage because we're doing acid. Fuck yes. Count on me. Um, yeah, let's just put them in the front. Like, we can have them throw another thing. I guess they used up their turn throwing something. Uh, yeah, it seems like Shadowheart is, uh, is getting hampered by this flower that we picked up. I'll try and figure that out. Oh, look at him. He's, woo, 12 to 52 damage. Oh my god, animating spores, release spores at a corpse to animate it as a spore servant. Holy crap, this guy is so cool. He is such a lad. He is such a lad. How, how have I not heard anything about this mushroom lad? Don't worry, we're going to do some stuff, but right now I need to um, just kind of move people up and then I'm going to I'm going to wait for them to move up to us. Ouch. Shadowheart is just dead, huh? So we are in um, threat r range right now. Can we use a bonus action to shove them? Too heavy to shove so you know what i'm just gonna disengage and i'm gonna go up here that's gonna help everyone actually so we have we have uh we, we can already sneak attack from up here so let's go ahead and do that critical miss Mobile shot. After using a dash or disengage this turn, you can make a ranged attack as a bonus action. Nice. Put him up. Um, I don't think we need to use anything. Legacy of Avernus is uh, until a long rest. Um, hmm. Not sure what we want to do here. I think just a main attack. Oh, we missed with the reckless. So let's see what this does. First of all, this is per turn. Aim multiple attacks at a prone target. So does they, they have to be prone. Okay. That's the downside of that. But still, we have like disadvantage. Why are we sun stricken? Sun sickness. What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, let me see. Sun. Wh where is the sun sickness coming from? Like, I'm just going to punch them because that's all I can do. But we did actually hit them at disadvantage. That's kind of nice. Um, can we do like a rush attack? Yeah, let's do that. They saved against it. Almost strike. We missed. Not our, not our day. 
Um, okay, Shadowheart is making her saves, which is nice. We are in vision now. Uh, let's try and get out of vision. Do a hide. Out of sight, out of mind. Sneak attack. That's that. Lazel, can you please help up uh, Shadowheart? Okay, well, we learned some things there for sure. Uh, we're gonna want to do a short rest. Rested enough. Now, Karlak forward. has leveled up. I must keep going. Gonna see. Can we do like a mass? Okay, Tab, you need to you need to get rid of that mushroom. It's a problem. It's interesting, but what is it? Susser anti magic field. My faith will guide me. Okay, let's do this is per long rest. So we get one of these we get one of each of these per long rest, which is nice. She just has extra healing. Um let's do a cure wounds on herself. That apparently blesses her as well. Is that how I've been blessing? What is doing that? I'd like to know. When you heal a creature, you gain a... Oh, okay. Blessed mercy. Wow. I didn't realize just ex like how good that was. So we've just been like putting... We've been blessing creatures every single time. And I'm pretty sure that means that if she uh, does a mass heal with uh, that necklace, she's just going to be blessing the entire team for free extra attack so we get another free attack and fast movement movement increased by 10 feet so Karlak is going to be smacking really hard especially if she's frenzied she's going to be doing three attacks per turn good lord that's so good waypoint discovered the Suser tree we have another hook horror I think we can do one more combat I'd like to do this properly. What else is seeing us? Oh, there's another lad up there. Two hook horrors in one combat is going to be tricky. I won't lie. Please do not walk into... Okay, you guys are really bad at this. So we're going to back up. I'm actually going to take... Tab off. We're going to target group is too far away they're right there sometimes i swear to god please target group is too far away i just i just want to give someone else the the mushroom lad Uh, that's really frustrating. Let's get in and out. We can pickpocket our own friends. That's funny. I am literally right next to her. How how much closer could I possibly be? <laughs> like, good lord, sometimes. Okay, I guess I'm going to be stealthing with the mushroom lad. I can't imagine a less stealthy friend. Can I just, like, unchain him? Nope. So he's just going to make this more difficult for me so he's in combat now okay i want to i just want to do a sneak attack on this guy there we go that's all i really wanted to do let's see if i can get a freebie I don't know why I'm leading with Car uh, Shadowheart. Let's throw um, Alchemist Fire. One, two. Okay. Is there anyone not in combat? It seems like Shadowheart is not in combat. So let's do a Firebolt with advantage. There we go. Everyone's in combat. Okay, um, Mushroom Lad is great, 
he does not have a lot of movement. Can we get like right up there? Jump. Oh, he's got great movement actually. Punch. Nice. Still on my feet. Um, we're actually in a great position, except we already used our action. We can, however, do an offhand attack. Cannot reach. Oh, and let us do it. It's gonna let us do another one. Because we have two we have two bonus turns. So Tav can actually attack three turn three times per turn now. Which is incredible. Um can we maybe use like uh, I really do need to give her some special arrows. 35% chance, that's awful. Let's do like a Gith Yankee uh, psionics jump. And then I'm gonna jump like all the way up there. Like all the way up there. We. <laughs> that's her turn. Shadow hearts. We could potentially be done with this combat like any second now. Um, kind of want to just do like a healing word. I know that's weird on Lazelle. It'll heal her, which will give me temporary health point. No, it won't. Okay, never mind. No, no. Oh, I guess I'm out of actions. Okay. Let's go. Um, Carlac. How come all of your stuff is... Oh, she gets an extra attack. Because she's she's great now. She's just, like, amazing. So let's just do, like, a, a normal attack. Yeah. Fantastic. We can shove him away, too. Oh, no. Too heavy. Okay. Everyone saved against hypnosis. That's just great. Let's just like jump over there whoop and then dash and then we're gonna put this guy in uh threat range temporarily hostile what does that mean well whatever is anyone needing uh, a heal i don't think so so we're just gonna do a firebolt 80 percent nice it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does help in a lot of minor ways. Okay, we're we have a actually a very small gap here where we could hide. Breathe quiet, move with care. Yeah. Amazing. And then we can do offhand attack. Amazing. Oh my god. Yo, things are really start, starting to pop off. <clears throat> we've got we've got some really cool moves. I don't know if this guy was a, someone we were supposed to kill, but I assumed we did. So what do we got? An unfinished conjuration scroll marred by teeth marks and dried slobber. A few words emerge from the muddle. Magma, 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 mag, 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 mag. Okay. Grilled Roth ribs. I'm sure those are good for the camp. Phil Rowe the Forgotten. Um, Sovereign Gut. Our friend is in combat with, I'm sure, the other. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I guess I'm going to be doing another combat. Oh, what is happening? Yeah, okay. I wanted to level up real quick before, before we do that. Uncanny Dodge. Use your lightning quick reflexes to protect yourself. When an attack hits you, you only take half the usual damage. Wow, that's just amazing, huh? Until long rest, become invisible. Is this just a Dwager thing? Why do we get to become it? I mean, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'll take a hook. 
Um, before I, I'm gonna just like grab some stuff before I get into that second combat. Uh, yeah, let's check out Phil the Forgotten stuff. Oh wow, scribbled notes. Protector Guardian of the Adamantine Forge from Magma Rose only in Magma Destroyed. Hot hammer, hot hammer. Where a small map is drawn underneath, marked by numerous X's. The following words are scratched beneath it. Dorn knows. Okay. There's an adamantine forge down here. Interesting. We got a scroll of misty stuff. Something vulnerable to a hot hammer. Whatever that is. Okay, so I think we're all in combat now. I'm gonna back up with um with our friend because I really don't want him to be uh you know the first lad to take a hit from a from a oh you know what animating spores on Philro the Forgotten. Silence. I am bleeding life. Amazing, I love this. We have like a little mushroom necromancer. What, what are you doing? No, it's calling no. its pack. Tav, um, let's have you do a dash and then go over here. Should have advantage on this guy. Do not have advantage. Let's do a hide. Advantage now. Cool. Uh, not really sure how we're gonna do this, so I'm just gonna move Lazel up. Oh, I'm even gonna dash up a little bit. I guess we can move down if need be. Let's do that. I guess I could have jumped to this branch and it would have saved a little bit of movement. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm a little bit worried that we're gonna have a bunch of hook horrors to deal with. In a moment, let's do another dash. And like, it's gonna be a problem. Okay. It's go time. Can we do a jump over there? We and then we'll go down here. Bar um, barbarians have a lot of movement. We can probably hit them from here. Let's do like a goading attack. Miss. Let's try again. Critical hit. Nice. Goaded. Um, so our lad here has spells. That's interesting. Uh, is this a cantrip? It is a cantrip. This is fantastic. Ah, oh, I am. I'm really enjoying this actually Let's get it get him down there and then we can cast some spells. We're gonna have him attack his own horrors. I think Which is kind of great I guess I guess we're gonna have to move I could uh, can I animate that other ho ho horror? Oh, that'd be kind of amazing wouldn't it? I guess that's this is gonna be a kind of a waste, but I'm gonna have him go over here and see if we can't animate another horror. Uh oh, only affects one target at a time. Never mind. Yeah. So we're not we're not in vision. Can we hit him from here? Yes. Yes we can. No time for mercy. And we can also do some offhand attacks. Two of them. Oh, this is great. Victory awaits. Lazel. Oh, he's almost dead already. Fantastic. We're done. Um, why don't can we talk to Philo Philro the, the Forgotten? Is he up for grabs? No.
Yo, is this guy? Oh, it's knocked out. I didn't realize it's still dead. Or uh, it's not dead, I should say. It's been now it's dead. Day. Oh, need to rest. We got a couple of people need leveling up. I'm going to end the episode as soon as I've done that. Class features, trickery domain spells. We have some choices to make. You already know this spell. The spell is a better version of one you already know. You only access, ha you will only have access to this one. Curse a creature with your touch. The curse either bestows disadvantage on checks and saving throws or attacks. Let's you deal additional damage to the target or robs it of its actions. Or fear. Oh, I guess uh, we get both of these. Project in an image so frightening it makes targets drop everything and become fearful. We have level three spells now. Uh, that's going to make... Or we have some difficult choices to make here. Your allies will remain... Regain the maximum hit points possible when healed. They also gain advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws. This seems really good. Especially since uh, Shadow Heart's got, you know, major bonuses to healing. Protection from energy. Touch a creature to grant it resistance to uh, basically everything. Remove curse. Glyph of warding. Inscribe a circle of arcane glyphs on the ground when stepped on it by an enemy. The selected magical effect will a trigger. Interesting. Spirit guardian. Call forth spirits to protect you. Oh, these are usually really good. Their movement speed is halved. Daylight. Mass healing word. Heal up to six allies. That seems really good. It's really good because it also blesses everyone. Speak with dead. Revivify. Revive a companion. They return to life with one hit point. Feign death. Um, I don't think I should have warding bond anymore. I have basically never used it. I'd rather have like prayer of healing. Can only be used outside of combat. Well, that uh, makes it not very good. Bestow a magical enhancement upon an ally. They gain advantage on ability checks with a chosen ability. Create a soundproof sphere all within our silenced and immune to thunder damage. Hmm. Blindness might be nice. Silence would be really good, but I, I have trouble with silence because it can affect us as well since it's a very kind of, um, you know, unbiased sphere. So blindness is better uh, in that regard. I don't think we need bless since I'm casting bless passively. So instead, could we take like another, another level three spell? Like maybe spirit guardians? Seems like a good get. Um, I don't know if I need healing word anymore because I've got better spells. Ah, I should keep healing word anyway. Inflict wound seems like one I, I tend to not, not use. But anyway, I'm, I'm good with this. I, I like what we've got going on. And Lazel. Lazel is going to level up. She's a fighter, right? I've never even questioned it. Yeah, she's a level, she's a level five fighter now. Class features... Extra attack. Nothing, nothing. Oh, she gets Misty Step as a cantrip? Once per long rest. That's actually amazing. That's fantastic. Holy crap. Okay, we get, we're getting some really good stuff. Uh, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And yo, uh, pour, pour one in the comments. Hit me with a comment. Uh, Mushroom Lad. Mushroom Lad, I love him so much. He's so good. He, he, we got a necromancy mushroom lad with, um, basically the freaking platinum star punch attack. Like, come on. How, how have, like, where has this guy been my whole life? I love him. And we, it looks like we get to keep Philro the Forgotten. So we've got two companions hanging out with us. I don't know, like, can we, can we heal him? If we heal him, does he die Take two. no he just gets his health back fantastic all right uh, i'll see you guys next time take it easy